Hi, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids. I'm having a look today at multisensory reading, spelling, and penmanship application. This app's known on the App Store as Learn to Read, Write, and Spell, and this is the pro version. There's also a free version. So let's press enter. If you have used this program before, click on your personal symbol. If this is your first time using this program, select one of the bright symbols to be your personal symbol. Well, I've been here before, so... Here is the symbol you have chosen. Click the forward arrow to continue. You can add your name by clicking on the letters that spell your name. The letters you select will appear below your symbol. Okay, this comes up every single time you log in. And here we go. You've got two different two different areas. There's the tutorials and videos and the exercise and report cards. So let's click the tutorial and videos because that gives you a bit of an insight into the people who have made this and what their modus operandi is and the introduction to Rogers Center. Hello, I'm Noreen Rogers. I developed this program to help you learn to read and write at your own pace. It is based on the principles and techniques of the Orton Gillingham program. You will use most of your senses to learn how to read. Let me show you what I mean. We use our bodies to speak, hear, and understand English. A bird. A bird. A bird. A bird. Hey. A bird. This program uses the same concept to help us understand written English. Now let's go down to the exercise and report card section. And here we have the layout of all the activities that we can do. Up here, this W is... Letter lessons. This one is... Reading lessons. Writing lessons. Spelling lessons. Language rules. Dictionary lessons. And as you can see, there are a large amount of lessons in each section. So let's start at the beginning. Letter lessons. And we'll start at one. And then we'll have, after we've had a quick look at one, we'll skip all the way to nine and see where it takes us to. Letter lessons. This is the letter B. Okay, down the bottom here is an information button. Let's pick, press that. We've been given all the information for this screen, so we need to click the forward arrow to go on. So let's do that. B is a consonant. Forward. Use your finger to trace B several times as you say B out loud. B. Say B. Out loud as you write it on your lined paper. B. B sounds like B, as in ball. Trace B again. Say B, ball, B, as you trace. Okay, I'm tracing the B on the screen. It doesn't register my, me actually tracing it on the screen, so obviously you have to be doing that on your paper. Write B. On your paper. Oh, that's what we do. Say now. B ball B as you write it. Okay. To review the letter B at any time, click the B at the top of your screen. Yeah, let's click on. This okay, is the letter look at C. Nine on this letter lessons. Letter lesson section. This is the letter X. X is a consonant. Trace X several times as you say X out loud. Okay, so it's X. The, it's the same format as all the rest of the consonants in this section. We're just further along the alphabet. Okay, let's go down to the next one. Reading lessons. Okay, let's do number one. Let's start reading letters together as words. First, let's read each letter by saying the sound it makes. Start with the first letter, C. Click it as you say the sound it makes, like this, K. K. Right. Now click the next letter, A, as you say the sound of the letter, A. A. Now click the last letter, T. T. Now click the flashcard and say the sounds of the letters, 
a t k a t all right let's jump to reading lessons 15 of the reading lessons Whoa. here is a story about the olympics we know that because it has a title above it that says the olympic games Let's read this story together. The o the Olympic Games. So I tapped the title. Read this sentence to yourself. If you want to hear a word pronounced, click it. If you click a word we haven't studied yet, its pronunciation guide will appear. When you click forward, let's read the sentence together. Okay. Olympic. I tapped Olympic. International. And I'm going to click forward now. The Olympic Games, the international sporting events, were first held in ancient Greece as less deadly way for warriors to compete. Read this sentence to yourself. If you want to hear a word pronounced, click it. Okay, let's go back. So All right, let's have a look difference. at the third one down now. Writing lessons. And we'll press number one. It looks like you're ready to try your hand at writing. The more you practice writing letters and words, the easier it is to recognize them. You'll need a piece of lined paper and a pen or pencil for this one. I'll show you a word, like this. Trace the letters on the screen as you say them out loud. Cat. C. A. T. Cat. Trace the letters as many times as you'd like. Now write cat on your paper. Compare your writing to the word on the screen. Do they match? Practice writing cat until you are pleased with your penmanship. Now try this one. Okay, Say let's go back and have a look at number 20. Get your pencil and paper ready. Yep. It's time once again to practice writing. I T apostrophe S it's. Notice how the word it is written first. Then there's a visible break between it and the apostrophe and the Next letter S. Spelling lessons. Let's click number one of the spelling lessons. Let's practice spelling some words you have learned. I will say a word, use it in a sentence, and say it again. Like this. In. Thanksgiving is celebrated in November. In. Then I will say the sound of each letter in the word. You are to click the keyboard letter which represents that sound. In. Thanksgiving is celebrated in November. In. I. N. What happens if I tap the wrong one? F. Try again. Okay. N. In. Correct. Got. The pilgrims got their Thanksgiving feast from the Native Americans. Okay, let's have a look at the number 13 on there. Let's spell words which contain the sounds of the letters U, C, and G. Please thoroughly review Super Dictionary 9 and the Language 14 lessons before attempting to spell these exceptional words. Place the words you find most challenging on flashcards. Place the pronunciation guide for each word on the reverse side of the flashcard. City. Chinese New Year is a big holiday in the city of San Francisco. City. Spell the word city. Okay, C. C. What happens if I press the wrong one? Try again. Go back okay. and I. This one with the big... Language rules. Language rules. Number one. It's too easy, isn't it? You learn the letters of the alphabet and you're reading and writing English? There must be more. 
Otherwise, you could read anything. But it takes a little more to read most of the words we see. The problem is that we have more to say than just simple words. So people came up with different letter combinations to represent more complicated sounds and words. This could have led to total chaos. The point of a written language is to communicate with people who can't hear you speak. If we spelled words any way we wanted to, how could anyone decipher what someone else had written? Okay, and let's have a look at the one right down the bottom here. Dictionary lessons. And have a look at number one. It's your dictionary. Let's see how it works. Page after page of words, pictures, and odd symbols. How can this be helpful? The dictionary is your English language decoder. You use it to learn how to spell, say, and use words, even find out what they mean. To begin, everything is in alphabetical order, just like the letters at the top of the screen. All the words that begin with the letter A are first in the dictionary, then words that begin with B, then C, and on through to Z. The words within each letter are in alphabetical order, too. Let's study an example. These words start with the letter S, so they are listed in the dictionary under S. Let's put them in alphabetical order. Look at the second letter in each word. Click the word that would appear first in an alphabetical list. Well, that would be SAT with the A. Correct. A is the first letter in the alphabet, so the word SAT would appear first. Click the word that would appear next in an alphabetical list. Correct. E comes after A, but before T in the alphabet, so SET would appear next. Let's put another group of words in alphabetical order. In these words, the first two letters are the same. Look at the third letter in each word. Click the word that would appear first in an... All right, and have a look at number 17 down the bottom there. Here's an exception to the Y plural rule. The Y in boy is part of the O-Y diphthong. It doesn't change to an I when you make the word plural. Just add S to make it plural. Boys. Click the word and let's read it together. Boys. Now what are we supposed to do? Spell it. B. Right. O. Y. So there we are. We've had a look inside Learn to Read, Write and Spell Pro.